This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another review and today part 4 of the Tunjulul Tank Alliance. Fantastic set so far, love these tanks. Uh, today we're going to take a look at ST39 and as I mentioned in previous videos, I wish I could say hey this guy represent this tank from this country during this war i'm not a tank expert and i don't want to insult anybody or you know any vet, you know descendant of veterans so yeah but this is a really cool i like the angle of the tread it's really good paint on this guy is really fun so i'm gonna have another fun review uh, to do today but before i do so make sure you check out my voice acting playlist the main feature on my channel something i'm extremely proud of and also check out my sponsor, the JC Collectibles, fantastic online store. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. number four in our series of little tanks and it's uh, easier to do this than it was to do the Jinbao Devastator honestly because they're simpler to transform so that's you know robot to tank tank to robot same thing as we've seen before and this one is no exception to my rule that this is awesome love these guys uh, the ST39 uh, so we have uh, Larry, Jerry, Rick. So this one, ST, let's uh, call it, uh, I don't know, Saint. There we go, ST, Saint. Simple, so he's Saint. You know, that's a title, a war title or something. He's Saint. Um, so yeah, so uh, same type of articulation. You have the rotation here. You have the up and down on the cannon no wheels no rotation and that's pretty much it but he looks fantastic i still love all the rivet details on the treads inside the wheel the silver highlights looks really good the tread themselves are pretty good uh, the hands are showing in front that's a little too bad but he, overall he cleans up real nice and i love the uh it you know that's i don't know where is the, the door to get in there i don't think it's here but I like the highlights and all the you know pipe details so you know you want to have some exhaust so that you don't die of all the smoking you do um but yeah so i guess you come in this way it's possible uh, but i i dig this one the color is a little weird to me but camouflage wise i guess that works so yeah all right transformation you want to same same as uh the other one which was th38 you unfold this, unfold this. The feet are different. Uh, you wanna try to get in there. There you go. And unfold them like this. And they separate, there you go. Flip this clip, this thing here. There you go. Uh, yeah, the hands just kinda do that. And you wanna remove this. and turn them around so yeah that's different uh but i don't i'm not a big fan of these hands uh the way they transform so you basically you, come on it's tight you have to know where the joint is uh hold on pull the the hand out always on camera There you go. Un ah, the clip was there. And then turn it around. And. Come on. There you go. Oh, wait. The head, eh? Huh? <laughs> this one here, you know, similar head sculpt as the others. Looks really good, too. And then same uh, ball joint in the canopy so that you can turn it around, push it back up, and then clip these thing here inside. Boom, stability-ish. He's tight though, 
uh, the shoulder joints are really tight. Um, same thing, rotation at the head, up because of transformation, no down. You have your Ferris wheel, and then you have your elbow band. Nothing at the hand. You have your merry-go-round. Oh, kind of hindered because of the long cannon. And then you don't have, or you barely have any Johnny Cage, so that's too bad. Well, but still looks good. And then toe, just this part here. So, again, not that articulated. But looks real good. So, Saint is fantastic. You know. There you go. Let's do a quick comparison to give you guys a reference with the worst figure of Legacy so far, Blitzwing. Uh, but he looks good in robot mode. And he's just a tad taller than... Um, ST39. All right, let's put him back in tank mode. So flip the toes, click this, turn it around, shove the hand back in, turn them, clip them, turn them, clip them, and oh, wait. Oh no, that works. All right, I think it works. We'll see. And you want to unclip this, turn it around, put that back down, put it like this. There you go. Put it back like that. Oh yeah, that's right. The hands on this guy just—I was trying to rotate them, but they just fold over. There you go. We're back with ST39, and now to do the uh, arm conversion. You're going to unfold and then re-unfold, put it down like that and flip it like this again. And then when you do that, this stays down. I don't know how, but that's pretty cool. And something again is going to clip here later. So now do you have, oh, you have to. Oh, you leave it up and do I have to do anything else? I think that's pretty much it uh, on this guy. He's supposed to go, hold on, I'm missing something. So, ah, there you go. Turn it first, clip. There you go. So that's uh, the arm mode. And now I'm looking at it and I turned them the wrong way. Sorry, I'm an idiot. There you go. All right. So now you have Saint in arm mode. The end shoulder. It's gonna look cool. So so far we have Jerry, no Larry, Jerry, Rick, and Saint. And now tomorrow we're gonna do uh, the next one. And I can't wait. Can't wait to have this whole set done. So well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment, love reading those. Keep coming back out more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.